This is me, Rowan Huang. It's been a really long time since my last broadcast. Um, as you know, people who follow my Facebook, I say the past two months is not going to be easy for you, for me, for all of us, um, just because, you know, things... Um, most likely, most of us will be dealing with our own internal issue this period of time, and I hope you guys um, work it, and I hope you guys survive it, <laughs> because only if you guys survive it, then we can actually um, talk about it now. So anyway, glad to come back. Um, there's a lot I want to share with you guys. So, you know, my mind may be scattering everywhere, but bear with me as long as I can get it all out. That would be great. So anyway, before I start, let me first. Hi. <laughs> before I start, let me first introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. I want to share a little story with you guys. Might seem irrelevant to you guys, but I'm going to share a little story with you guys. Um... Um, last week, last week, uh, my husband wanted to drive me, my daughter, to a volleyball practice, right? And this volleyball place is kind of, it's a place that I, I drove my daughter probably six times by now. So I kind of know where it is. I don't, but I haven't got it down to the pack yet. Like, it, know exactly where it is. I just roughly know where it is or probably better idea, 80% know where it is. So... <laughs> But, you know, because six times I always go in various different ways based on the GPS, right? So thanks to that, I just roughly know where it is. But eventually I know I would get there. So somehow my husband decided to drive us that day, and then he never gone there before. So when he asked me how can he get there, I just roughly tell him this is the way you have to go. Or I would say I was pretty certain this is the way you have to go, right? So at the beginning, when we drive closer to there, and he say, well, where is it? Are you sure this is a way? I say, um, yes, this is a way. Because compared to him, I've been there six times, even though, you know, it's not like my house. I know exactly where. I've been there six times. I roughly know where he is, and my husband never been there. Compared with him, I say, yes, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we keep driving and then pass another turn again. He's like, well, are you sure this is it? Are you sure this is where? We should turn. I say, yes. <laughs> but this time I wasn't quite sure now. This time I'm like, well, I think so, right? So I say, I think so. So we keep going. You know, this somehow the turn that I expected to, to turn just somehow way further than I expected. So sure enough, the third time he say, well, are you sure this is a way? Maybe we should turn here. I start getting confused, right? <laughs> because... Mind you, I've only been there six times, not like I know exactly where it is. So I said, well, if you want, you can turn, right? At least I know it's roughly that direction. So I said, well, if you want, you can turn. He said, well, I don't know. Um, maybe should we drive a little bit further? I said, either way. I think because he kept questioning, what, did we miss a turn? Did we, are you sure the looper street is here? And to a point that I start questioning myself, I said, I don't know. Maybe I should turn on GPS too. Right. So sure enough, I wear this question to a point I start question myself. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I passed the road, but I don't remember I passed the road. So as as the moment I start questioning myself, um, the street we're supposed to turn show up. Right. It's right in front of her. And then it's kind of validate myself. At that point, I don't know what other people think or feel, but hi, morning. <laughs> So, but at that moment, I have this voice in my head is I should always trust myself no matter how people doubt me. So why am I sharing this story with you? This is a very typical story. I believe not only happened to me, but happened to you guys too. For many of you who might start something new or something fresh or something that you kind of have a gist of it, but haven't get a hang of it yet. You know what I mean? And then when people start questioning you. You go from confidence, say, yes, I know what I'm doing to, well, I think I know what I'm doing to, well, maybe I'm not quite sure what I'm doing <laughs> to, uh, I don't know I'm doing what I'm doing. You, you know this process I'm trying to share with you guys now? I mean, this is very typical things that happen day, day in, day out life. But what we did not realize is they actually apply to our life, the whole life, right? Why is, is you know, have you been... Um, 
living your life, let's say, without any disturbance, without any noise, you know where your life is going to go. You know what you are passionate about. You know, this is the direction I'm going to go. This is who I want to be. This is what I want to be, right? And you're so certain of it when there's a noise around. But all of a sudden, people start questioning you. And the worst case scenario is, who start questioning you? Is your family start questioning you? Your friends start questioning you? Your living circle start questioning you? Based on what they know, the truth is they may not know. Just like my husband, compared to him, I've been to that place. He never been to that place. If he doesn't trust me, he could have used GPS, but he decided to question me. Right. So what I'm, what I want you guys to apply this scenario into your reality, your reality, and really take some moment to think how often when I. I'm certain this is the direction. This is the way I'm supposed to go. This is who I am, and this is what I believe. The moment the noise start happening, say, "Are you sure about that? Do you know what are you doing?" Because we haven't seen the result yet. The worst part of this is when we are working, when we try to improve ourselves, when we have to, you know, work toward our goal, our dream. We don't usually have a solid evidence to prove to people. Look, this is what I want. This is what I told you so. Very often we go with a belief. That belief is same as I know where it's going, as that direction. I know where it's going, and I have kind of have a gist of it, but I don't quite get it down to the pack yet, right? <laughs> so when people start questioning you, we then start questioning ourselves. We start question: Are you sure? Am I sure? I don't know if I'm sure. I don't know. And then, to a more moment, that question start becomes so regular. We start to question our own capability to do so. We start to doubt ourselves. We start to think, I don't think I can do this. You know what I mean? I don't think I can do this. I don't. I don't think this is who I am. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think I'm capable enough. I'm not sure anymore. You know what I mean? This is where when our life stall. Our life will tend to stop now because we no longer know where we're going, right? It's not like we don't know where we're going. It's because we got questioned so much in a way that we start questioning ourselves. We don't know anymore. So the reason why I want to share this with you is I don't know if you guys have this experience once before, but this is experience to me. <laughs> what happens when you get lost, right? Think about it. What happens when you get lost? The truth is, if you get lost, there's always a way, isn't it? There's always a way. If I got lost, I would just turn around, go the same way back, and go. The thing is, we all know if I want you to go to A to B, even though you don't know where the B is, even though you don't know where the B is, you will keep walking, right? You may get lost. You might go somewhere. But as long as you have very clear idea where B is, where B is, you will get there one way or the other. Because you might ask people to help you. You may have the GPS app. You may have, you know, anything. Because if you determine and you know exactly where B is, you will get there, right? I want you guys to think that and apply that thought into your life, into your life. Very often, people come to me as ask, feeling I'm lost. I don't know anymore. I don't know where should I go. I I think this is it for me. What I'm saying is no. You might get tired. Yes, in your life, as long as you know where you want to go, this is who I want to be. This is where I will become. Very often, we focusing on. If you look at our life, very often we focusing on. We have to get there at certain time, certain age, right? I have to be there by six, and now I'm freaking out. I cannot be there by six. I'm freaking out. The truth is, if you will get there in life, there's no time. Like you have to do it by certain time. In life, you will get there. If you are very clear, this is where your goal is. You will get there. Getting there is just matter of time. Now you're thinking about it. Most of the time, we are stalled because we have fear. Because we start questioning ourselves. Because we start saying, "Well, I think I don't know. I I'm not sure I can do it. Well, what if I get lost? You know, what if I'm not good enough? Guys, what I'm here to say is." So what you got lost? So what you are not good enough? So what? So what you are afraid? We are all afraid. But the truth is, as long as you keep moving, once in a while you get tired, sit down and take a break. 
It's okay. It's okay. Because with life, there's no time like you have to be there at a certain time. There's no way for you to rush it. But you know what it is that we often overlook? It's the journey of it. The process of it, how we get there. Along the way, we might get lost, but then we see a different view. We meet different people. We collect something along the way. That is, if I walk on that way, I will never collect those. I will never collect those experiences. I will never collect those people along the way, and I will never see the view I never seen. So, what I really want you guys to think is life. I say this so many times. You design this. You plan this. You come to this for a reason to experience the pain, to experience the happiness, to experience everything. How do you experience this? It's not because you get to A to B. It's because you enjoy your way. You enjoy your view, people. Thing up and down along the way because you know everything you experience, then start coming into、um, a collection of experience. This whole experience that make your soul feeling full, feeling rich because feel like it's different from someone else. So, anyway. As I say, so many things in my head. I might go sidetrack, but really, what I really want to share with you guys: sometimes getting to the destination is not really what we are here for. It's creating that journey, how we get there. Very often, we get stall. The reason we get stall is because we start questioning ourselves. It's because we start, you know. Second, second guess ourselves is because we we taking other people's opinion over ourselves. So we stay still and we're not moving anywhere because we afraid to make mistake. We afraid like we are not good enough. I'm here simply to say, the whole life is not about getting to a destination. The whole life is about the process of it. It's through this process we learn experience. It's through this process. We grow. It's through this process that we meet the people we need to meet, even when we are lost. So, what I'm here to say, as I say, you know, in the past two months, I feel lost so many times. But <laughs> you know, I believe many of you gone through that experience too. What I really want to say to you is, as long as you're moving, as long as you're moving, yes, take a break when you're tired. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. But as long as you're moving. As long as you remember, you know what? I'm tired. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna have some water. I'm gonna have some food. I'm gonna really rest myself. And then tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another day. I can move ten step forward, or even one step forward, or even half step forward. But what I am here to say is, as long as you know where your destination is, you will get there. You will get there. It's just a matter of time. So. Why you know you will get there? Now, let's just enjoy the ride. Let's just enjoy all the good and bad, up and down, and collecting the experience that purely belong to us and make it a unique journey of this soul, our soul. Sorry for my cat, but <laughs> but anyway. Just um, haven't done it for a while, so just really want to come back up and share a lot of things. I might continue doing broadcast. I don't know, but you know, I'm gonna make up for the miss episode I've done. So, um, again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website ruwn.com. Till then, I see you guys next time. Bye.